One of the more unique features of the Panasonic GH5 is its ability to work with anamorphic lenses, in particular ones that have a 2x squeeze. This means that they're going to squeeze everything twice as narrow and make it look twice as tall than it is in reality. If you look at the monitor here, you can see Emily is very tall and very skinny right now. Um, you can see everything looks somewhat distorted in the image. And we're shooting in 16 by 9 aspect ratio at this point. We're using the same aspect ratio that a traditional video camera would use to show you what happens if we use an anamorphic lens with a traditional uh, sensor. So we're going to go into the monitor and we're going to de-squeeze the image. We're going to stretch it to its original corrected aspect ratio. And what you should see right now is this looks very wide. It's far too wide for a television set. Um, it would look like a little pencil if you uploaded this onto YouTube or Vimeo. So that's the drawback of using a 16 by 9 sensor with an anamorphic lens. You're going to get entirely too wide an aspect ratio. So I'm going to return the monitor back to its standard setting. I'm going to go into the camera's menu and what we want to do is we want to be on the top tab when the mode dial is in the movie motion picture mode. Go to anamorphic and in this case we're going to shoot at 24 frames per second. We're going to answer yes. You're going to notice a couple of things. For one, I'm now getting more information. I'm actually getting the top of our model's head here. Emily's head is now in the frame and you'll see a little secret that was hidden out of frame that we'll talk about here in a second but we're still now tall and skinny. When I go back into my monitor and I de-squeeze the image, now you can see it's a taller capture, it's filling more of the screen, it looks more like the traditional cinemascope look that people are looking for. And that's the benefit of our anamorphic mode is it uses the entire sensor, both height and width, and you stay in a four by three aspect ratio, so you get a very cinematic look. And again, if you look in the bottom, we get you those lens flares with the anamorphic lens, which is one of the biggest reasons why people like to shoot with this particular optic.